Hey everybody, you are tuned into the Free Mad Podcast. Um, I actually erased one of the other. Uh, I actually, er- oh, that's even better. I actually erased one of my other uh, videos that I wanted to highlight and show you. I actually wanted to touch on something completely unrelated, usually to libertarian-esque discussions, but it was regarding, it's like wedding etiquette, and I wanted to say just etiquette in general. I know many rednecks and maybe a handful of libertarians among me think that part of etiquette is either archaic or just for fancy-dancy people or people that are like... uh, was it not uh, acrionic or whatever the word was, like people who live in the past, but I I had made a mistake in the past, and I wanted to highlight something, what I learned from it. I was invited to a wedding. I did not, I think it was a verbal, a verbal invitation, which was a, a big mistake. And... This person who I I really care about, I've had a weird relationship with this person. I had a okay relationship with a person's wife, and and bear with me, it's not like that. We're not the horizontal business together. But part of my my reason for bringing this up was, it said regarding etiquette, and it was the art of manliness. I know a lot of people laugh, but there's a lot of good information. Um, and it was like a primer on wedding, wedding etiquette. Um, I wasn't sent, as a wedding I went to, I was not sent a proper invitation, but the person went up to me and said that he wanted people he worked with to, he wanted them to know he was getting married and that, um, the date where, where they were going. Um, I kind of look at it this way. I've been informally I've been informally invited to very uh, to another wedding and I did not attend because I did not know of their um, you know the monetary boundaries and what have you. I was an old friend of this first person uh, for quite a while. I went to their this person's uh, brother's wedding. Um, I love them both very much, and they asked where I was, and I said I didn't receive a proper, you know, a proper save the date or an invitation or anything. And they're like, "Oh, you didn't need it. You're you're almost like family to me." And I was kind of touched. They they hinted at that, and I told them I said, "Well, it's a money thing. I kind of understand why you don't invite everybody." And I said, if you have random people showing up, not crashers, but random people, you're you're gonna you might tax uh, food if there's food. Uh, there might be too many people for the building. Other goofy stuff like that. And one of the things I was getting at, reason why I said that, this person's wedding when I was informally invited, I. Did not overhear them mentioning what time it was. It was the summertime, and the building they were at was hot. It was known to be hot. It was poorly, even though it was a brand new building, it was hot, and it was poorly air-conditioned. They have air-conditioning system, and they have fans, but for anybody wearing a suit, it, it wasn't the best choice. Well, what they didn't know, what I didn't know, it was in the middle of the day. I showed up late. Not only I missed the wedding, I was just there for, I guess, the reception. And I dropped off a small gift. Um, people had cleared out. I guess as a courtesy, he was like, hey, it was, it was." he didn't say it was nice to see you. He kind of gave me this weird look like he always had. Um, I tried to you know, wear a button-down shirt and pair of slacks. I remind you, I'd lost a lot of weight. I I didn't have I wasn't the best best dressed. 
I worked a lot. I didn't think much of it, but it was my oversight. And it's this is where like the lessons for these, you know, the rednecks and, and kind of the outlier type people who either hate the licensing, uh, government licensing scheme, tax schemes known as marriage or the people around me that know how much you can get screwed, not the good way. But you mentioned about things like RSVP and if people don't know, like how long you're going to, or how about this? They don't know how like, like numbers. And then like people who, you know, they don't have the money to like entertain everybody at a reception or they only go to a ceremony or, you know, you could bring your plus one, like your Mr. And Mrs. And your one guest, but they don't want you to bring kids. And they might put, you don't need kids. And a lot of people don't like that, but you don't have to go. Don't bring kids. Kids don't need to go. Um, I, I didn't have that problem. It was just me, but I, I failed to know what time it was. I didn't ask. I probably should have said, hey, I'm going to narrow it down. And I didn't. I didn't ask, and I looked a fool. Um, I have a mixed history with this person. And I didn't impress them. And I'm probably my complete lack of relationship with them now is probably due to that. And I put, I feel like I've done a lot of work and I failed. They don't live too far from me. I, I if they're listening to this, I, I care and I love you both. Um, you know, it, it mentions about like attire and a lot of, a lot of, of like the invitations will say what you're supposed to wear and of course a lot of people are like well i don't have anything nice i don't like this so or, even if it said white tie or black tie or formal and the thing is I, as much as i i, I want to lean on the gentleman's gazette i think most people don't have a clue what most of those are and that, especially in the redneck world and if they put a, a dress code most people wouldn't follow it. They'd be the assholes. They'd wear jeans when everybody else wears tuxedos. You know, and I'm I'm stealing this from Art of Manliness. I'll, I'll leave a link below. Um, of course, if there's no stated dress code, people feel like they can just show up wearing. Uh, they feel like they can wear. Um, oh Lord, like overalls. I jokingly said that, but. Lord, it's just, I think it's in poor taste. You show up looking like a ass jack unless they're, they specifically state it's going to be a back, they call a backyard wedding or something. I think you should overdress instead of underdress. You should call, you should call ahead and find a family member or somebody in the wedding party. And they mentioned this in the article, but um know about the schedule know about what's going on um if you don't know about most weddings look up what a wedding pertains to um if it's going to be a catholic church um you might want to go look up what you know hey stereotypical catholic church wedding um if it's a backyard wedding uh, you can make some assumptions there's less less going on than other places but I mean, you should know that, like a matter of decorum, somebody shows you their seat. Um, don't, you know, don't get in the way, crap like that. Um, if you want to take pictures or something like that, you should. I mean, like turn your damn ringers off and crap like that. This is like matter regular decorum, like. Unless you're on call, you know, a cop or a firefighter or something. I mean, don't be that butthole unless somebody says it's okay for you to do some, like, a lot of this stuff. Um, don't sit in reserve seat seating unless you're an idiot. Um, I mean, yeah, 
leave the, the last rows for late arrivals. Stay for the bride, stay where you're intended to be, wait your turns, stuff like that. Don't be an idiot, don't get drunk. I'm, you know, I'm, it's not that I ever got drunk, but I was an idiot sober. And you should start to think maybe this, some of this stuff. I was like, you should look up about etiquette and not be a stubborn asshole. And you know what? That's your lesson. I, I'm not going to drone on and on. You can look at the article yourself, but it's, it's stuff you can consider. It's a matter of decorum, a matter of growing up. And I've never gone to a wedding looking like this. And of course, I've never had a biker wedding, but I've gone to backyard weddings. I've gone to regular weddings, church weddings, uh, been a part of us other, you know, smaller weddings. But when in doubt, call ahead, look. If you weren't given a formal invitation, you should tell these people, if they verbally give you an invitation, say, can you send me a paper invitation? And they're like, oh, don't worry about it. And you're like, I can't go unless I get a formal invitation. And it sounds like you're being, not conceited, but being a jerk, but it's not. It's it's just making sure you got your information straight because you, you might look wrong. You might look like an idiot. And it's a matter of decorum. Now, I'm going to close with this. It's, it's a part of growing up, a part of being an adult. And I know people, especially in this post-civilized world, some of us out in the sticks don't have a clue, but I think you can, and you can get help, and you can read about what what normal. You would rather shoot for this high bar of normal behavior than acting like the barefoot punk kid who hangs out at the gas station who bothers people in the parking lot and bugs them about trying to weld things for you. And... You don't want to be the barefoot welded welding kid at a at, at a at a at a wedding unless it's in the backyard. But anyway, folks, uh, there should be a link all the way down. But subscribe, notification, like, Twitter, gab, parlay, even though it sucks, and hate email email address in the proverbial crotch of the comments. Send me email if you need to. All right, please have a good week.